Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? It's Monday, typical start to a Monday. Uh, we had a band of storms come through last night, just torrential downpours, everything's still soaking wet. It's still raining off and on right now. I've got raindrops on my windshield. Um, it's supposed to clear up later this afternoon, but uh, so since it's so wet, I'm going to, I'm working on a job or going to start a job. I'm going to show y'all. Uh, lady has a um, real estate agent come take pictures tomorrow. So, and apparently this is becoming a pretty common place. And I want to talk to y'all about that also. Uh, she said she called five different lawn care companies and I'm the only one that called her back. And she couldn't believe I showed up the day that I called her back. Um, so, do you, if you guys are booked out, like there's no way you can take any more clients, do you return the calls whenever you get them? Uh, I, I'm guilty of not doing it. I, I'll go ahead and admit it. Um, so if some of them I, I do, I don't know. I, I don't call them all back. I probably should. I just hate calling back to say, hey, thanks for the call. Sorry, I, I can't take you I, i'm completely full but this one happened to be she left where she lived and it's in a neighborhood that i mow in so i had every anticipation of telling her no i can't take it but i went out and looked at it it's right down the street from uh three that i have already so i, I took her on um and plus it's kind of helping her out um but yeah so she had five lawn care companies and i was the only one that called her back I can understand it. I used to, I'd go, that is so unprofessional. And I, I do think it's kind of unprofessional, but I'm guilty of it as well. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm not. Um, but that being said, um, do y'all, are y'all getting an influx of business this year? I mean, more than normal. It seems to me like there's not as many people doing it this year as in years past because usually april my phone quits ringing and my phone is still ringing pretty consistently through the week i mean i'm not getting bombarded with it but you, you know if I, monday through friday i'll get between two and five calls uh, and which this late in the season uh that's pretty uh, out of the ordinary but that's a couple of topics i just want to talk to you about but another one is um I hate to use this term, but uh, do any of y'all pack heat on a job? Carry a gun with you. Now, Tennessee is a constitutional carry state, which means you can open carry, concealed carry without a permit. I think we just went to that last year, year before last. Now, I have a concealed carry permit and have for years, so I, I exercise my Second Amendment right. Now, I'm 99.9% .9 of the time carry a firearm with me, but usually not on a job or on a yard. Um, I have had jobs in the past where I let the homeowner know, hey, I'll be, I'll have a firearm on me while I'm on your property. Is that okay? And they're like, absolutely. The reason being for that in the past is, um, and many of y'all may have heard this story. Uh, I was doing a leaf cleanup job on a property and you ever feel like somebody's staring at you, uh, just watching it. And I was had my backpack blower on, I'm blowing leaves and I look up and there's this bear just watching every move I make. And I was like, holy cow. And um, the next door neighbor come out and fires a shotgun blast in the air to scare him off. And we're sitting there talking about it. And lo and behold, another bear runs by. So. Going forward, um, I let the property owner know. It, it's not because of the handgun that I carry that I think I, I can kill a bear with it because I'm pretty positive that's not going to happen. Uh, a 40 caliber, I doubt it's going to kill a bear. But my hopes is that it'll at least scare it off till I can get away. Like just a loud bang or something like that. Of course, I'm not going to do it. Don't start with the gun safety and all that. that it's just in case bear spray would be a, another option um to keep on you in cases like this but here lately we are having um a bear problem in this area uh they're, they're becoming more brazen and what they they're doing they and i understand it because they're getting run out of their home they're building 
houses around here like mad so the bears and deer and all the other wildlife don't have any place to go but the bears are getting a lot more brave um and i've even heard that they closed two campgrounds in our area because uh there's so many bear well the neighborhood i'm heading to right now is known for bear and deer problems because they back up to bays mountain uh, which is a wildlife preserve anyway. Um, so the bears come down, uh, the, tons of deer, any other type of wildlife native to East Tennessee, you can probably find it at, in this neighborhood. Um, and another big concern of mine, what I'm doing, is, I'm gonna show you all this cause I've rambled on for five minutes now. Um, I'm gonna show you this. It's just clearing leaves that's been on a tennis court since the fall and here it is June. Well, another big, thing in this neighborhood is rattlesnakes and copperheads which uh, I hate both of them uh, I'd rather see a bear than a, than a snake I'm just definitely afraid of snakes so there's another reason um, because there's big piles of leaves that have been down for a while on this uh, tennis court and great place for snakes to hide and stuff like that so Snakes and bears are my biggest concern in doing this cleanup. So Nick, why are you doing it? Because even though they are a concern, I don't think anything will happen, but it's there in the back of my head, if y'all know what I mean. So anyway, whether it's for, hopefully you're not uh, servicing yards in a shady uh, neighbor uh, area that's so sketchy that you need to carry a firearm to protect yourself, but uh, do y'all ever carry one other than I always keep a gun on me, Nick, um, because of your surroundings and doing a job? If so, let me know, know what you think on that. Um, and I, I'm about to be to the job and I'll, I'll show y'all what I'm dealing with, okay? Oh, it doesn't look that bad, Nick. Yeah, okay. All this. Those are thick, all that. But let me show y'all what I was, whoa, it's slick. Uh, what I was talking about, I gotta get that, that stuff down. As you can see, it's surrounded by woods. See what I mean? <laughs> Looks like you're in the National Forest somewhere, doesn't it? So, yeah. The concerns I was talking about are, are legit. Especially, look at all that. Not something I really want to go traipsing through without some high boots on or something, but I just got to get all that and dump it in here. So, let's get it cleaned up and looking good. And pray I don't see any creepy crawlies because I hate those things. But I need to get started, guys. Let's see what this is going to look like. Okay, guys, time is of the essence on every job, right? I've got yards I want to get to today. I don't want to spend this whole day on this job. So work smarter, not harder, right? I brought a snow shovel with me. And what I want to do was just clear this out. So I could throw the 9010 on my back and blow as much as I can because I'd rather run through gas than run through my back and energy to get all this stuff out that door and down that hill because that's all I have to do with it. Now, many of y'all that know I have the Skag walk behind blower. So Nick, why didn't you just bring that thing? Well, videos never do it justice on how steep things are, but looking through the camera right now, I can see how steep that is. Let me show you guys. Maybe you can get a better appreciation for it. Here's the door, right? There's the steps. There's the hill. See it? Now, that thing weighs a ton. Getting it down that, down that, and down that into here would just, I just saw it a logistical nightmare, so I didn't fool with it. Like I said, I'm gonna, hopefully count on the power of that 9010T to get this stuff done, the majority of it. 
I realize I'm gonna have to back, use my back and rake and all that and the leaf burrito down there uh, for the majority of or for some of the work. But if I can get these leaves down there with the blower instead of my back, I'm gonna do it. So I can already still, I can already see some daylight. Y'all know this right here is gonna be a mess. What is that, Nick? Is that dirt? No, see, there's a drain pipe right there. So all this, the wet, soppy leaves, you can even see water standing in that right there. So I gotta get to work, guys. I'll get y'all as much footage as I can because I'm sure you're interested in this a little bit. Making some progress. Watch this, guys. See how wet and muddy it is? Okay, ever seen a blower tube look that muddy? Or how about some Cujo's and pants? All right, that's going pretty good. Uh, that's one tank of gas in the 9010, it was full. And this is how far I've got it. But th this right over here, guys. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, and if, have you ever walked on a wet tennis court? Slick as ice, but you can see that's just like moving mud. It pretty much is moving mud. So this part is going a little slow, but one tank of gas, hopefully one more tank of gas will get it. And with the help of the snow shovel, just plowing it like snow if i could get something down here to push it it'd be great but the doors are too narrow and all that so just fighting it covering all that stuff blowing back in my face too so i'm gonna go get a drink take five come back and fight it some more sometimes you just gotta admit defeat Let's see, let me give y'all a better perspective. I mean, it's coming along, but I reached a point that this is just so wet. This is just so wet. And I'm covered in mud and stuff. So I'm thinking, get this section right here. Just throw it on that, drag it off, and then I can blow the rest, hopefully. We'll see. All right. A little progress update by the way every bit of me looks like that you can see how wet that is now i mean that's that's a lot of progress y'all but i want this to be a lesson in um screwing yourself because that's exactly what i did on this job uh and this a prime example of the definition of bottleneck <laughs> so y'all ever wondered what bottleneck meant that's what it means so i've got them all piled up here so what i'm going to do is just blow them down through there so i can get the rest of these out of here and i'm on my third tank in the 9010 so oh there goes a the deer There, right there. Right. There. Huh. All right, Tim. Let's get this knocked out. I, I, like I said, bit off more than I can chew on this one. All right.
I hadn't broke it off of myself like that, that bad in a long time, but it happens. I'm just gonna take it, learn from it, go on from there. Can't do anything about all that water right there. You can still see it coming down the hill over there. But, wow. So, let me show you where all of it went. You can tell there used to be I'd love to seen this whenever it was first done. So there's your walkway. And I blew some of it down in there. Some of it down in there. But it's a big old pile. In there. So. All right, I'll talk to y'all more on the way home. I'm gonna mow this thing and it's ate up the whole day. I'm a little, a little upset with myself over that. So I'm tired, filthy, dirty, and frustrated. But you, know, you guys know, I, I watch some other YouTubers, not a bunch, but uh, I met Keith Kalfas up at the Exposed. Um, he's a little different, but he, he's a great guy. But um, I heard in one of his videos one time, <clears throat> he said whenever you're doing a job or mowing a yard, and you hate that yard because it's less than what you think it should be. Are you mad at yourself or are you mad at the customer? Because really you should be mad at yourself because you're the one that did it. So, um, man, we all have done it. I've done it before. Uh, and this will most definitely not be the last time that I do it. Uh, but you, you get frustrated with it, but in the end you just learn from it and go on next time you're you meet a, a estimate like that i guarantee you you'll, you'll know how to bid it better the next time so I, I mean just chalk it up as a learning experience uh something else to put in your arsenal um so the customer was extremely happy with it it turned out great um well as great as it could for what it is but um so she was happy and she'll i'm sure she'll tell other people and pass it along so i mean it'll grow help grow your business and get a good name out there for you so it is what it is uh, i'm tired it, it almost it pretty much cost me a full day just on that so i'm going to start out tomorrow behind on the yards I was already behind on the yards because of the rain we've been getting much needed rain we've been getting lately so i'm not going to complain about that either uh, i'm just going to uh, redo my schedule for the week uh, tonight get some rest be ready to roll with a positive attitude tomorrow and, and just roll with it and chalk it up so uh i just thought that was interesting and uh, thank goodness the only wildlife I s saw while I was there was that deer that y'all saw. But um, uh, let me know what y'all thought about that in the video as well. Um, uh, that neighborhood always is sketchy as far as bears and snakes go. Uh, I've got, like I said, I think I've got, that one makes four yards I've got in that neighborhood. But you tend to always keep your head on a swivel. And you find more deer scat in the yard than you, you do dog poop. So that, that's good. But um, anyway, I'll try and put another one out for you guys soon. Uh, be sure to hit like. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, and I, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. So you guys have a great week. And uh, I'll see you again real soon, okay? See you.